Hi guys! Hey everyone! Welcome to Make 2 and another episode of the Searchers Let's Play in Minecraft on the PC. We're up in our tower on our farmhouse taking a look around at the world and oh look! This is what we've been building since last time. It is a barn. I told you I would build a barn and this is it. It is massive. It's big and it's kind of square but it doesn't have a roof yet and the roof I promise you will add a lot of character to it. I like but the it's... patterns you've got. Yeah, the I've got shapes and pants on the side. Mm -hmm. I've got some, what are these called? Tree log things coming out over here. I've got a door in. We're going to go and take a look. And the aim is, as I said in last week's episode, I think, is rather than having bits of farm here and bits of farm there, kind of getting in the way of the beautiful landscape, I thought let's have a barn and move into a bit more of industrialization for our farming practices. Going to get modern and with the times with our farming. We've got <laughs> some farming over here. These is our, this is our wheat and potatoes, and there are some pumpkins over there. But I want to have everything a bit more compact, and maybe rather than having it all spread out, actually just put it some of it underground, so a bit more kind of modern. Yeah, modern and kept away, and let's keep the countryside nice and pretty. I mean, I do kind of like having fields pasteurized and stuff. I like the look of those, but I they I understand. will still be there. Yeah. Okay. But the other aim for doing this is to try and have some automated farms, and automated mm -hmm. farms are not so pretty. So here we are at the entrance to the barn. As you can see, there's this is the big barn door. There's a little hay bale over there. <laughs> um, there will be a proper door here, but, you know, it's got no roof, so it doesn't matter that it doesn't have a door yet either. And there's going to be another door over there at the back. So all of these jack-o'-lanterns are going to provide light. Yes. So this is a pumpkin plus a torch equals a jack-o'-lantern. And Whoa, oh. What am I hearing? I don't know. <laughs> a growly thing. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, that is something... What does he want? I think it's probably underground. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, we'll stay on the ooh, alert. crumbs. Well, let's get my sword out. Let's replace the potatoes with the sword. But, yeah, I haven't seen... I mean, it sounds like he's nearby. I know, it does. Hello? Ooh. <laughs> We want to okay. get stuff done, so go away. Yeah, I'm going to say it's underground. And my, yeah. I had a grand vision. You suggested hooking up with the mine, which I think is over there. <laughs> um, and, you know, from our underground system. And actually, our storage room is kind of about here, underground, under oh, there. I see. So I thought it'd be cool to try and link all these things up. But it may well be there's a whole bunch of monsters down here. Sure. So we'll just have to battle them. But... I've got a little bit of a space here, and I thought we'd build something together. I'm going to try my best to build an automated pumpkin farm. Today is going to be a full-on pumpkin fest episode, guys. Sounds exciting. Yep. So it's a common way of doing it using redstone pistons. So you need a bunch of pistons, and you need a bunch of pumpkin seeds, and you need some redstone stuff. So you put a piston there, a gap, another piston, a gap, a piston a gap, a piston, and then another gap. And in those gaps, I'm going to put a jack-o'-lantern because in that gap is where the pumpkin plant is going to grow. So we can put our pumpkin down now. Tell you what, let's get our seeds to the ready and our hoe to the ready. So we put our pumpkin seeds there. So we put the... Where are my pumpkin? Here are the pumpkin seeds. I've got a lot of pumpkin seeds. That's nice. Pumpkin seed goes there, it's going to grow this way. This now makes sense. This now makes sense. Put the pumpkin seeds next to the lantern and just in front of jack the jack-o'-lanterns. And then they will grow to one direction. They'll grow this way. So this is where that we're going to grow, but we've now got some redstone stuff to get going. That zombie is really creeping me out. Mm. So we're just going to put a row of blocks all the way on the top here. Just all the way along. And like that, we're going to get some redstone on top of each of the pistons. Let's see where the pistons there are two along. On top of each of the pistons, we're going to put one redstone dust. So one there, one there, the gap of one, and one there. Now they should all have dust on top, which is going nicely. And now we're going to put a redstone torch right in front of them as well. Oops, yeah, a torch there, a torch there, a torch there, and a torch there. And now we're going to put a layer of stuff right on top of this line of things here. So sort of a gap just too high, you'll see in a second, I guess. It's a bit hard to explain. We're going to put like that. Okay. Now this is what causes crazy stuff to happen in Minecraft. Got it. Which I don't quite get. It's called 
I think it's called quasi-connectivity. And it's loud and it makes a clattery noise, <laughs> but it's how things work in Minecraft. So here we have our quasi-connectivity stuff, and that's now all set up to make the pumpkins. When a pumpkin lands here, yep. it's going to pop out the pumpkin. Do you want to take a quick look at that? We've got a we've got a pumpkin here. Let's try it. Let's see what happens with the pumpkin there. And you can see they all look <laughs> funny. <laughs> and then the pumpkin pops out. <laughs> Cute. Okay. Yeah. So it pops um, out into that trough. Yeah, I'm going to try at least bone mealing up one of those, get a little bit of a head start. And it's going to go into this trough. How much faster does it grow with bone meal? Um, I think these take one to three days to grow. Mm -hmm. um, but what we've got to do first is put a chest down here because we want although all this is going to grow automatically it has to be captured mm -hmm. in order for the stuff to actually make it properly automatic so we've now put a hopper holding shift looking into that chest and that should now mean that when pumpkins get picked up by the water they flow all the way down <laughs> going a little bit slow and when they flow they're going to flow into the hopper and that then goes into the chest and then we can collect them from the chest. Ah. So this is all working, looking pretty good. What we need to do finally is get some glass and put some glass all around it because the pumpkins can sort of dash out in any direction. We don't want that. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. we the want to just capture the pumpkins. Controls so that where it, they land. Exactly. That zombie, man. Don't like it. So I've left a little bit of gap so I can come in right at the front door. But otherwise, we're just going to put in all of our... Now, what this will also do, of course, is mean that the pumpkins... <laughs> What's happening? Did they what? catch something? Yeah, because you changed the block right next to... Oh, okay. Yeah. These pistons are really sensitive, huh? They are really sensitive. Now, it's just about to get night time. I'm going to see if I can just capture a little pumpkin... Let's just see what happens if we put a pumpkin, a fake one, right down there. Oh, it doesn't get pushed out. Sometimes I don't get pushed out. Oh, and sometimes it, it, I do. It, 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 it did sort eventually. Of like got there, yeah, at some point. Let's see. And it got <gasps> captured. Yay! It works, it, it works. It works, yeah. So this is really cool. So when the pumpkins grow up, anytime any of these pumpkin plants grow, mm -hmm. and because now this plant has to grow that way, I'm hoping this plant will only grow that way. And yeah. that one, that, but we'll have to see it. It might a little bit of just coaxing along. I mean, this is a huge machine. <laughs> yeah, and you can do a second layer because we've already put grass on top. Oh, right. Okay. But this should grow four pumpkins at a time. But because I don't need to go and farm them, any time the pumpkin's made, yeah. it's going to get collected for me. So none's going to grow overnight as we go to sleep. But hopefully what we could do is put some bone meal down <laughs> and let's get a little bit more bone meal from downstairs. Maybe in the morning, if you want to, so we can see if we can get some pumpkins growing. What's the capacity of that chest? Um, a lot of pumpkins, I think. Okay. Yeah. Let's get... I mean, well, it sounds like the thing is down I here with know. us. I don't like it. Okay. Actually, I think that one might be, might be in our little trap. Oh, our monster trap that we've yeah. shown in a previous episode. Cool. I'm gonna hope maybe that's been the problem all along. Hello. Bye bye. Maybe Yay, this was XP. a thing. Wow! Look at all these and a thing, all lining up. <laughs> Just <laughs> waiting funny. for the slaughter. Yeah, they don't know what's happening. Poor little guys. <laughs> it's too bad you can't use zombie flesh to fertilize things. I know, you can use zombie flesh to sell to villagers though. So what do they want it for? I, don't, I think maybe for their evil recipes. Spooky. Creepy villagers. Okay, let's go back out to our bar and let's see if we can make some actual pumpkins. <laughs> Rather than fake pumpkins like last time. And maybe those zombies have disappeared as well. Maybe we, they were just in our little trap waiting for us. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try and just hop up on the little glass area here that we've made. Oh no, still there. <laughs> By the way, this is light grey stained glass. Um, and it just looks a little bit more see-through, oddly, than just normal glass. How did you get it? Um, there's little white flowers outside. And I want to see what happened if I... Let's see, can I get down there? There we go. Um, and I want to see what happens if I turn them into a dye and they turned into light grey dye. Okay, so, but how did you get the glass to begin with? Oh, you make the glass from getting sand, sure. and you heat the sand in a furnace, okay. and then it turns it into glass blocks. Got it. But you can see, look, that you can't really see much of the sort of grain, uh, whereas if it was plain glass, 
It would actually have quite a big grain to it, which I don't really like. Okay. So I think this looks just a lot prettier. Sure. So well, what are you going to do in the rest of this barn? Well, I, you can use exactly the same design as this for melons. Okay. So I could have a second tier of melons. Um, I could have maybe pumpkins and melons together over here. Um, automated other farms like wheat and stuff are actually, they've got to be done a little bit manually, but they're, I've seen a really cool design online. I can't remember the YouTuber, but he's got a lot of subscribers. Uh, a really big guy, but he's got a really good one, which is like in a big cube. So I might make, maybe I'll make an addition that has that over there. Underground, I'm probably going to do some factory farming of these cute little animals. <laughs> um, they're a little bit squashed up here. Yeah, and this horse is... Was he stuck in the fence? He's, or... he's stuck. He was over here, and okay. he doesn't know what's going on. Got it. Likewise, these cows, actually leather and stuff is really good commodity, mm -hmm. and I might just try and build a mass production farm, which is like you have basically 20 little cows all together, and... They're like in a one square, like in this little space there. Oh, that be seems... A whole load of cows, and then you breed them all, and then all the younglings, all the calves, pop out somewhere else. <laughs> and then as soon as they grow up, they get killed. That is so harsh. Uh-huh. It is, it is harsh. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> it's harsh and cruel. Okay, that, uh, and looks I'm... like that pumpkin disappeared, or that little one disappeared. Yeah, man. Let's see if it went in the crate. No, nope, nope. didn't go in there. But this is working. What I'd like to do, I said, is hook up, mm -hmm. rather than having the chest here, have this chest, have this area lead straight into our storage room. So it actually automatically feeds into our storage room. Does that mean like a lot of hoppers or something? Uh, I think it's going to mean a lot of water and very okay. careful engineering to make sure things don't cross each other. Sure. So it's going to take a while before I get there, but I'd like to make it happen. Okay. This is going to be like watching paint dry. Oh, there's... How did that come? Oh, no, no. that's the same one as before it was hiding. Oh, I see. Okay. Maybe. maybe. Well, Don't this know. should work, and we'll let you know next time our progress for automated pumpkins. It's probably better than me just... Because when I see those pumpkins grown over there, I'm just like, man, I can't be bothered. I'm just going <laughs> to... I've got to go and collect wood already, and I've got to go and get some flowers, and, you know, I just can't be bothered to come over here and pluck off these beautiful-looking pumpkins. Now, let's see if I can find that flower... There are a whole bunch the other side. And then I have a little surprise for you. A pumpkin-related surprise. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, it's for you. Why not? Oh, oh, I see. Well. It wasn't well, originally for me. It was, but then you were like, for me? It's like, what if you don't want a surprise? Okay, I can't what? see. I do. I, think I have I've, surprises. I think I've got all those, all those flowers. <laughs> but they're cute little white flowers. And they make light gray dye. And now we're going to go down to our storage area. And I've got, I think I've got everything I need because I need one pumpkin and a couple of other things. And then it's going to be nice, I hope. <laughs> okay. But I haven't tested this properly, properly in exactly this, but it should work. So we're going to put glass. We've got to have a little stand here. And this has been hollowed out for ages. Right. Through here, actually that way a little bit is our barn. But I thought I want to do another little bit of farming with something a little bit different. So first of all, I'm going to put... This here, that there, and that there. Um, oh no, I'm not. I've done this one already. I'm going to try and do it a bit differently. <laughs> We're going to have to hollow out a little area in the ground here. And I didn't need to break that glass. <laughs> this is all very mysterious. It is very mysterious. We're going to leave this stone block here. Collect all those. And now let's... The problem with glass is when you break it, it breaks for good. Oh, okay. Which isn't nice. Because it crackles. How do you then collect it? You can't. You have to make more. Oh. Now, I have some snow. Do you remember when we went hunting for... Wolf? Wolf, yeah. We went all the way back to our big tower. And this isn't going to work either because I'm so silly. <laughs> um, let's see. I've got to do that there. Now, I'm going to have to be quick, I think. I'm going to have to put... I'm going to do that there. I mean, that's just waste. While I was there, I collected some snowballs. Right. And now oh, I've collected... Oh my gosh! Look at a snowman. that! <laughs> Wait, it moves. It does move. Why does it move? Is it alive? What's um, going on? Yeah, it's alive. What? And now it's supposed to make snow. <laughs> Come on, make snow! Make snow! Oh, it can't get out because... I've trapped it with this glass, I think, or he's on this stand. Got it. But I also want him to make... 
So now I can go in here and I'm sp- he's supposed to make snow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I swear when I tried it before, it did make snow. Well, I tried it in Pocket Edition and I did try it in Creative Mode in this game. It was like, cool. Okay, I worked out what was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> the problem is you have to be above level 64 in a plane biome. We are in a Sunflower Plains and we were at level 60. Mm. So we're now at level 77, so this should work. They have to be above that level in order to make their little snow. So we're going to put our... We've got our glass. Oh, we've got to make... Got to make two... There we go. Two bits of snow. We have a pumpkin and we have some glass. <laughs> so we're going to get through more glass, but we're going to go one, two, and three up. And then we're going to put... I'm going to get rid of this lantern. Don't want to burn our poor little snowman. And then we're going to put that... I think that should be okay. You're going to break into your roof, maybe. Yeah. Okay, we need one of them. And then we put our pumpkin Hi. on. And then... <laughs> look, it works! Is he making snow? He's making snow. <laughs> I picked a white block, so it's a bit hard to see. But okay. let's get our shovel. And uh, now you can see it in action. Hi! We have snow inside the house. He's like a refrigerator. He's like a freezer making yeah. snow and ice and we, all that like kind of stuff. He's like a never-ending snow globe. So we now have <laughs> 13 snow. Yay! We now have... Uh, where did all the snow go? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're now going to have more snow. Oh, I think actually you need to use a shovel to get the snow. Mm. Oh my wow, gosh! That's that was a lot cool. of snow. We now have lots of snow. Alrighty. And he seems okay. I don't want him to move off. Let's try and just keep him in. Oh, yeah. He's... <gasps> oh, oh, no! no. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, all right. We've got plenty of snow, and he's now just <laughs> dropping snow <laughs> in the house. Okay. Well, I don't think I'm going to go with the glass option again, because <laughs> it's very costly. <laughs> mm-hmm. But we now have a friend inside, so that's cute. <laughs> Hi. Hello. So if he goes outside, is he going to melt or is he just going to, like, stay? Um, let's see. (laughs) Oh my gosh. (laughs) That's so cute. I think he's going to die. I don't think he can survive outside. Oh no. All right. Well, he's like a little pet. Maybe he'll follow us. What do we name him? Um, Pinchy. What is with you? I don't know. Why don't you come up with a name? Um, we'll call him Mr. Pinchy. Mr. Pinchy. (laughs) Yeah. Mr. Pinchy the snowman. Mm -hmm. He's not leaving that much snow. I think that's fine. I'm going to make another snowman, which we will call (laughs) Mrs. Pinchy. Sure. And she's going to be up there, and she's going to have lots of snow, and she's not going to escape from my fortress of So sad. They'll be forever apart. It might be easier, instead of you breaking the glass, just like going into your roof, maybe. (laughs) Go from the outside. Yeah. Hi, Mr. Pinchy. (laughs) (laughs) Alrighty. So next time we will show you our improved little snow farm, I hope. (laughs) And we're going to show all the pumpkins that we collected. I do hope you enjoyed this episode of seeing us doing a little bit of building, a little bit of redstone, and expanding our little base a little bit. Mm -hmm. Do let us know what you think in the comments. I'll try and find a video for a proper tutorial of how to build an automatic pumpkin farm like this in the comments. So you can see... Description. In the description. Yeah, exactly. No pumpkins yet. So you can see how it works with a proper tutorial. If this was a little bit too fast for you, it wasn't meant to be a tutorial as such. Otherwise, if you haven't done so already, please also feel free to subscribe because there's plenty more Minecraft on the way. Thanks for watching.